Aloha everybody, Gabe here from the Hawaii Institute of Self-Reliance, His Survival. Welcome back, mahalo for watching. In today's video, we're going to finally determine who makes a better machete. Ontario, made in America, or Tramatina, made in Brazil. Stick around for Rumble in the Jungle, yeah! Now a machete isn't worth much if it can't open a coconut. First up, Tramatina. Now I'm going to do this the fancy way. There we go. Open coconut. Now, to Ontario, 18 inch machete's turn. Oops. Okay. Uh, you can tell that the Ontario machete is a little bit more brutish. And I would say it opens coconuts better. So this test goes to the Ontario. It can open a coconut better. It doesn't have the wobble that the thinner blade has. See that? It doesn't have that, that flex. Ontario opens coconuts better, in my opinion. I'm going to give you the stats on these machetes. They are both full tang. The overall length is the same. They both have 18 inch blades. They both have lanyard holes. The Ontario is made in the United States, has a coating, it's black coating, and the thickness is 3.4 millimeters and is thicker than the Tramatina, which is 2.3 millimeters thick. And the grind on the Ontario is different. This has a kind of a, a scanty grind almost, and the Tramatina has a different grind, you can see that. Ontario on the bottom, Tramatina on top, different grinds. And the blade shape is a little bit different. There's a swoop, an up swoop to the Tramatina. $20 with a sheath for the Tramatina, $20 for the Ontario without a sheath. Watch it, 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 that's the stats right there. Ontario, brush clearing. This is some ferns with some bananas mixed in there, with some uh, arugula, whatever this wild arugula is. And uh, we'll see how the Ontario handles this kind of vegetation. And, yeah, what I expected. Just tears right through it. No problem. A little heavy, and you have to just keep that that grip going. You know the machete grip, a little like that, and you want to create any hot spots, and you don't want to like grip it like a death grip, right? So yeah, works great for light vegetation.
Now we'll try the trambatina. Same thing pretty much here. Some ferns and light vegetation. Oh, this isn't light vegetation, but I can go back in here. Check it out. Okay, I'm gonna have to give this one to the Trembatina. It's lighter in hand, just, you know, oh wow, it's, you know, it just moves real nice in the hand, real quick and light. And for light vegetation, I think the Trembatina is just better built, thinner. We can slice the light vegetation better. So this one goes to Tramatina for light vegetation. Okay, this is a piece of guava that's fallen and I'm going to chop this strawberry guava tree um, 10 times and see how well the Tramatina does. Remember I'm doing the snap cut, that, that pinch grip. Okay, not bad, but it is a little bit squirrely, and since it's so light, um, it doesn't uh, chop as well, I think, as the Ontario. Uh, let's try the Ontario. Okay, maybe that's not a good representation. <laughs> okay. And the uh, Trambatina. Let's give it a couple more wax. Just to be fair. You know, I'm really surprised. I don't know. I thought the Ontario was a heavier hitter. This is, this is interesting. Hmm. Definitely does hit harder. But, and then Ontario, or the Trambatina just bites in there real deep. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I think, I think it was pretty close, and I think the Trambatina actually can chop this guava better. It's not hardwood. Um, I'd say it's a medium, you know, medium vegetation, or I guess hard vegetation, but it's still not a hardwood. I don't know. Maybe it's that. That edge. I don't know, they seem pretty, still pretty sharp. Huh. So, I'm gonna have to say, I'm baffled on this one. I think, uh, I think the Trimatina won this one. But, uh, I'll look at the video and see. Maybe I was a little off with this uh, machete. Something fell that I was chopping. <laughs> so yeah, again, um, 
clementine on this one. Uh, I don't know. I just, just seems like I can get like a snap cut going and it just. Oh, you see that? I don't get it. I don't get it. You'd think the heavier blade. I don't know. Trambatina, I think, wins this. Back to the stump. I was surprised. Okay, so we're back at the stump, and I was surprised that the Trambatina out chopped the Ontario. So let's do some batoning, see what happens. And I know people are gonna go, oh no, he's batoning with a machete. That's not the right tool. Where's your axe? I'm in the jungle. I don't use axes. Okay. And this is a test video. This is supposed to be extreme. Okay. So the Ontario can baton. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to Test the edge retention. Throw on a couple pieces of wood with each. Test how well edge holds up. Now, this is the Tremetina, and we will put some batoning going. Got you on that one. I'm gonna have to give this to the Ontario just because of the thicker blade and the, the better grind. Even though eh, the Tramatino works fine. I think that Ontario is just a little bit better. Okay, so let's just check edge retention. Let's make some feather sticks. Okay, this is the spot I was using the baton. Yeah? Still sharp. Let's try the Ontario. This is roughly where I was batoning. Oh yeah, I think uh, I think the Ontario with its 1095 held an edge better. So now we're back to the Ontario. The Ontario has a point after not chopping as well as the Tramatina. I would say this 1095 holds an edge better. And let's see about um, my detailed work. I want to maybe make like a notch or something. Versus the Okay. Uh, I just want to crack it. Okay. Well, we'll just we'll just make some feather sticks, and we'll see how easy it is to do detailed work. Okay. Let's see if the 90 degree spine. Okay, so I'm getting some hot spots, of course. 
right here. And let's try the Ontario. Let's try the spine. It's not as sharp. Yeah, the spine is not, not nowhere near as sharp. Okay, let's try some. You know what? For finer work, Ontario wins. Wow, this is gonna be tough, guys. That's way more comfortable. The thicker blade, just how it, how I can hold it. I can get right up there. And do finer detail. This is just. I think the blade is wider, right here. I don't know if you can see that. Hmm. Yeah, see how much wider the blade is, so it's harder for me to to hold it on the Trambatina like that. So I'm going to say, finer work, Ontario wins. Oh man, this is going to be a tough choice. This is a tough choice. Oh, made in America, Ontario, better at finer tasks. It's $20, doesn't come with a sheath but it is 1095, holds an edge better, or longer than the Tremetina 1070 steel, and it comes with a coating. It is made in America, and it's been around, you know, in war zones for 60 years, this style of machete. And Ontario's solid company, but it is heavy. Um, it does baton better, I think it opens coconuts better. It's not as good at light vegetation. And the handle is absolutely awful from the factory. I had to do a lot of modifications to the handle to make it comfortable. It's almost unusable from the factory. Now the Tramatina right from the factory is, you know, pick up and play. It's great. And it even comes with a sheath. For $20, the Tramatina comes with a sheath The Ontario does not. So for value, I think the Tramatina you know, probably would win. You're gonna have to spend another, you know, ten dollars or twenty dollars to get a. Uh, I think you can pick them up for like eight to ten dollars or something like an 18 inch uh, machete sheath. Not a big deal. You wouldn't want to make a kydex sheath with it because it would be more money in kydex than the machete, right? It's kind of silly. That's why they don't sharpen the tip, is because uh, uh, you don't want it to poke through. The, the sheath, or that's one of the reasons why they don't sharpen the tip. Or typically you don't sharpen the tip of your machete. So it doesn't poke through the cheap nylon sheath. And you don't want to have anything else because it's a cheap machete. Why would you spend, you know, 50 or or $100 on a sheath, a Kydex sheath or something like that on a $20 machete? I mean, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Now, the Trambatina, uh, it's harder to do finer tasks with it. I found it's, you know, a little bit uncomfortable. It does uh, cut light vegetation better and um, the handle is just so much better than the Ontario. So this is a tough one. I, you know if you're looking for like a, a beast oh wait oh the Tramatina did chop better. I was surprised at that. You guys saw that? That was, that was interesting. Maybe it was just me. Maybe it was user error. I'm not sure, but I, I was I'm I was almost positive that the 18-inch uh, Ontario machete would would beat the 18-inch Tramatina machete in chopping. I mean, it's heavier, so I don't know. I, I don't know. It's really hard to say. Uh, if you really want me to just pick one, I probably have to go with the Tramatina. Just because $20, pick it up, plastic handle, it's ready to go, comes with a sheath, no problem. I'm just, but Ontario's like right there. I mean like, not even in second, it's like, you know like, it's, they're still both in first place. <laughs> it's just that, uh, you know, I, I like them both, especially after I modified, actually, uh, without the modification, okay, okay, straight from the factory, Trambatina wins, right? I mean, $20, you get a sheath, the handle's fine. Right from the factory, no sheath, $20, 
and about two hours worth of work on or hour two hours worth of work on the handle to make it comfortable so there you go Tramatina wins I believe but not by much and they both have their place and I will use both I will continue to use both all the time I use the Tramatina just a little bit more because it's lighter and um, it's easier to carry around it and it has a sheath but I can use the Tramatina sheath for this uh, Ontario it works fine Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a blast making it. Yeah! Yes. Machetes in the jungle. You got to use them. You got to know how to use them. So, thank you for the like. Please comment. Love all your comments. I'm here for any questions. And I thank you for the subscription. Make sure you hit the bell symbol to get notifications for when I upload a video. You can watch and tell me what you think. Till next time, hello! Yeah, yeah!